Hey guys, this is Sports Card Man. So what I was going to do in this video was talk about my top 10 right fielders uh, right now in Major League Baseball. This is to kind of to correlate with um, MLB Network's list of them doing their own uh, players at each position and who they think of their top players are. I know I've seen multiple lists and then they do like this shredder list and things like that. So what I did in my list was I kind of related it to cards and I was going to talk about, you know, future values, current values, point out a couple key cards and, you know, who I thought was the top 10 is just based on who I think is the best player. Um, so you can kind of just see, um, you know, who's a good buy based on my video and uh, maybe you'll, you know, be able to invest in someone and things like that. So let's kind of get into it right now. Uh, so this is just my my logo, Sports Card Man here. Uh, this is the picture I had that I just provided from last year's top 10 right fielders when they did this. Uh, this is actually my book that I have. On, you can purchase on Amazon ebook and have it delivered to your internet browser, or you can download it through like a Kindle device, anything like that. So let's just get right into it. So number 10 on my list, uh, you know, a lot of people may have not wanted him to be on there, but I chose to put him on there. Our steady's Aquino. Uh, you know, he kind of burst onto the scene last year and he was red hot. And I think some people may have forgotten, you know, how well he actually played. It is a, a small sample, but I am definitely confident in him being able to have a good season this year. So that's why I kind of put him inside my top 10. Uh, you know, as you can see, his best card is his 2014 Bowman Chrome Auto. You can get a PSA 10 for like right now around 130 and the pop on them is around 33. I think that's really low. Um, do look for an auto that kind of remains on the card. Like you don't want to have one that runs off the card because a lot of people um, are looking at that as, you know, a, a thing that hurts the value and it definitely does. So if you do buy an ungraded one, for example, like this one, make sure the full auto is intact and that it's a clean auto as well. Um, so ungraded right now is around 60 to 70. I see them going up to around 85, 100. I even remember them hitting 150 uh, when he was red hot, even closer to maybe like 200. But I don't think they'll reach them again unless he gets real hot again. So 60, 70 is not a bad buy either if you want to go ungraded. Um, and then even a 9.5 is $85 to $100 range. I don't see them going up as, as much as like the PSA 10s. Um, but if I were to pick one, I would invest probably in the PSA 10 just because the pop is pretty low. And, you know, that has the best upside to go up. Possibly it could even hit 200 again if he gets red hot. So let's go to number nine for right field. Um, I chose Max Kepler. His best card is his 2010 uh, Bowman Chrome Auto. That card is really hard to find in a PSA 10 or a BGS 9.5. So that's why I only did the ungraded example, and they're around 25 bucks. Um, last year was Kepler's best season, and I think this year it could even be better. So right now he's kind of one of the players that's you know flying under the radar still this off season. So you can definitely, you know, invest in him with confidence and the twins are favored to win the AL Central again, too. So I think he easily could have a 30 home run season again. Um, and it's a very safe investment for 25 bucks. And I see them reaching around 40, possibly even 50. Um, if you can get a one in good condition, that's ungraded. Even if you invest in a nine, that's still good for this card, because like I said, tens and nine fives are really hard to find. And make sure with this, the 2010s, you buy one that's kind of similar centering to this one. Like this isn't perfect centering, but, and it doesn't have anything on like the surface too much either. So that's probably like a nine card, possibly at the worst eight, five, just based on that scan. Let's go to number eight, uh, Charlie Blackman. Um, you know, he is getting a little older. Um, so I kind of he may drop out of the top 10 after this year. So, but the reason why I chose him is because his season last year was still good. And, you know, he's still possibly going to put up good numbers this year as well. I think he's around like 
34 so would be my guess so you know don't be hesitant to buy him or let Colorado scare you because he might be a guy that gets traded this year too to a contender so I think that will help his value so he could probably be like a guy that goes up a lot in the second half I know I have uh, PSA 10s here at 75 and actually one just closed for 50 which was like a really good steal. So probably with the tax and with the shipping, it's around like 60 actually. So when I was making this, I kind of predicted that it would hit 75 like in the off season, but they haven't yet. So even if you can get under 50, 60 and a 10, that's a really good buy because like I said, this has a low pop of 13 also. And this is his best card um, to invest in. So I think for 60, you know, that still has some upside to go up to possibly, you know, 100 Maybe even worst case scenario, like 85. Um, and you're gonna, it's one of those ones you're going to have to be patient with and just, you know, hope that he has a good year and hope that he gets traded to a contender. <clears throat> so even like um, ungraded is only like 30 bucks too. And, you know, but if you're going to buy one, I would probably recommend getting the 10 just because it's only for another like 20 or 30 bucks and you get a PSA 10 with a very low pop. And actually the, the true gem is probably elite, even less than 55 it's probably around like 40 ish 45 maybe 50 at the most and i kind of see them going up a little higher um, and true gem means um that it's all quad subgrades if someone's unfamiliar with that so basically if the subgrades are all 9.5 or better it helps uh, it being a better 9.5 so that's just one thing that people commonly use uh throughout like when they sell cards or buy cards so let's go to number seven. Uh, Jorge Soleri had a breakout year last year. I think it was around 46, 47 home runs. Uh, I don't think anyone really saw that coming. So, and right now, he, uh, his stuff is really obtainable, especially ungraded. I mean, for a guy that hit 46 home runs, uh, you can get him for 20 bucks ungraded. That's really good value. And, I mean, I don't think he's going to do that again, but I, I don't see him you know, not being able to hit 30. So for guys that even hit 30 home runs, I mean, at, at a $20 investment, it's not, it's not a bad buy at all. And then even graded versions, you can get a true gem for around 45 and you can get a PSA 10 with a low pop of 19 for, for around 75. That's a little bit more higher. And I probably for, for this one would go ungraded just because I'm not sure if I'm uh, confident enough where I think uh, you'll be able to po possibly resell him if you had to. And then if you're buying it for your collection, he is a little older. So, like, he's not too old. I think he's around, like, 28 this season. So you just kind of want to be careful with, with him if you are buying him. But I would probably would go ungraded for him would be your, your safest bet. And I think those will reach around 35, maybe even 40 uh, this season. But graded versions aren't bad either, but um, you do want to make sure that, you know, he starts out hot. So that's one thing you want to kind of look for if you're going to go graded examples. Let's go to number six. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorites, uh, Joey Gallo. Um, I actually just bought a 9.5, and it didn't have 9 centering. It had like 9 service, so it was just a normal 9.5. And I got it right around for like 100 um, I've seen his stuff, you know, gone up a lot this off season. So like, you know, I think people are starting to realize, you know, the type of like power this guy really has. And he's still really young too. He's only around 26 and he's already put up like some really good years. And last year was easily going to be his best season until he got hurt. Um, so for me, I think probably if you can still find the, the PSA 10s, it might be hard because there's a low pop of 28. But if you can still get them at 175, I think there's a lot of upside still on him uh, to go up this year at 250. Um, and especially even 9.5s, if you can get them for 100, I see them hitting like 150, maybe even 175. Uh, ungraded, they're around 50, 60 bucks. I, I see them going up closer to 100 if he get once he gets hot or starts hitting some home runs. And I think easily uh, 40 home runs is a, is obtainable again for Gallo. So it's one of those uh, buys that you kind of want to get it before the season starts. So which could be tough because, like I said, a lot of these do have um, some low pops and there's not even a lot of ungraded versions available. But definitely. 
if you can, you know, use other places to buy this stuff of, Ga of Gallo, definitely look for it. Let's go to number five. Um, Bryce Harper. I mean, a lot of people are saying this could be finally, you know, the year that Harper gets back to like his MVP season, um, especially with Girardi taking over as manager, just because, you know, he seems to get the most out of his players and, you know, he's, he really motivates them. So I think that could definitely, I think that could definitely help. Um, basically, uh, his, his best investment probably here out of the three would be, um, probably the PSA 10. Um, just because they, that seems to be a lot more sought after card for in Harper in comparison to his ungraded version or the nine five. And, you know, the tens, they're around 825. And I think they're going to go up back up to over a thousand once Harper gets hot, possibly even like 1200. Um, just because, you know, I am seeing, I am kind of like, like forecasting like a good, year from him and even his ungraded ones are very obtainable still for at 370 you know 400 range and a nine um that still has like some good some good upside as well to go up to like you know five maybe even 550 maybe even 600 if he does get back to having a big year um usually based on the past he um seems to have good aprils or like the first good week seemed to be good. Like for instance, this card in a nine five, just a normal nine five last year when he was at the Phillies, was around twelve hundred and fifty dollars. And the reason why I know that is because I sold one for twelve fifty and I also sold one another one for twelve hundred, right in like the first or second week of April last year. So and right now, as you can see, only a year later they're down around four hundred dollars less than where they were. So definitely he's a guy that can get back there. So if you are going to buy him, I would do it as soon as possible before the season starts. Um, and then just kind of be patient and, you know, hope he gets hot and things like that. Let's go to number four. Um, Mookie Betts. Uh, this is going to be his free agent season with the Red Sox. I've heard the talk of him getting traded to the Padres. Um, so, you know, that really could help his value or it could hurt his value. It just depends. Um, either way, I think he's going to go try to go all out to have like a monster season, whether it's like 30, 30, some people are saying it could be 40, 40, but I don't see him hitting 40 homers. I think he'll definitely get 30, 30. Um, all of his stuff is, is still obtainable, but it is getting a little tougher to find. Um, PSA tens, they were around like, uh, one person sold one for 450, like 500 about in December. And or even like early November ish or something like that. Uh, but right now, um, you definitely want to get him before the season starts or in case he gets traded. So if you are going to buy him, definitely get the um, probably probably the 10 or the 9 5 would be your best bet. Um, just because I think that those have the best upside to go up the value uh, the, the quickest. But if you do have to buy the ungraded one, um, that's fine too. I mean, there's there's still an upside in that as well, just because he, I think he will have a top season. Um, like I said, because he's a free agent, he's gonna want to put up big numbers. And this is a this is a card that you want to invest in before the season starts. You don't want to have to buy him, you know, while the season's going on. You want to buy him like as soon as possible. So some people might not be willing to sell them. Once the season starts, but you, if you're patient, you probably can still find them. Let's go to Aaron Judge. This is one. Of, this is my favorite player in baseball right now, and I've already um, bought a PSA 10 myself, and I have another one in my collection. So I actually have two right now of the 39 of these in pop uh, of the population report. Um, Judge right now, uh, his stuff is kind of like trending in a weird direction. His his stuff was going up a lot in value. Like the nine fives were hitting close to like eight hundred, and now some of them are down to like six six fifty. So you want to take advantage of that while you can, like because very soon once spring training starts, this is going to be a nine fifty um eleven hundred dollar card. And the reason why is because last year during spring training or right when the season start season started judge stuff was on fire and he didn't even do like hardly anything 
And so the same thing is most likely going to happen this year. Um, so you want to buy Judge as soon as possible. And I think it'll be difficult to find a PSA 10 for 800. But, you know, if someone does have one and is willing to sell one for that, um, definitely buy it because I think that's a 13 to $1,500 card because that's what it was going for last year. Um, ungraded is around 500 you can get, and I, I'm predicting those will hit around close to 750 this season. So I think Judge is easily still one of the most popular players in baseball. And just for that reason alone, his stuff is going to be easily gone up a lot in value just, just based off that. And because the Yankees are easily favored this year to win the World Series also. So definitely buy Judge as soon as you can. Any any three of these. My personal favorite is the 10, um, then probably the 9.5, then probably ungraded. Let's go to number two. Um, number two is Christian Yelich. He was a guy, you know, you had to kind of invest in last year. I mean, there's still some room for him to go up. Um, and the reason why I'll tell you is because he's he's starting to to um, compile like some really good seasons together. And if you look at other outfielders like Soto or like Acuna, I mean those are really the only other two outfielders um, that are selling more right now than Yelich. And Yelich stuff is actually rarer than their stuff. Like he only has a there's a low pop of this card in a ten, which is almost like unavailable to find like you can't you can't find that really and i'm thinking the current value of that is around 1100 and the future value is going to be around 1500 so it's only it's only a matter of time before you know uh he goes up even more because 2010 stuff is really hard to get especially in high grade condition like psa 10s or 9.5s like this 9.5 probably has a low pop uh, as well um i saw those are around 750 and i think that's going to be a thousand dollar card soon ungraded ones if you're going to invest in them they're around 350 ish and i see a little bit of upside on them but not much um just because you know the ungraded uh, ones are tough to find um, in good condition, especially centered examples and ones that have a clean auto and no streaks and ones that don't have surface because 2010 stuff is, is really hard to find in, in good condition. So if you do have to invest in one or you want to buy Yelich, look for at least like a nine or look for the things I told you to buy in terms of ungraded, like centering, surface, auto, make sure, make sure to look for that stuff. Let's go to number one. Um, this one, I put number one just because I think he has a little bit more talent than Yelich. Uh, you know, he almost got 40-40 last year. Um, his swing is just effortless. And I think he's easily one of the most popular players in baseball already. He's, he's only 22 years old. Um, so any of these are a good buy of Ronald Acuna. Um, let's, I mean, just look at some of these prices. I mean, PSA 10s are 1900. Uh, I'm thinking they're going to go up to around 2300. Uh, ungraded are 1300. They're probably going to go up to 1500 this year. Uh, Bowman Chrome 95s are 1450. They're probably going to go up to 1700. But again, Acuna was a guy that you had to invest into last season to get the most, um, out of your money for him if you wanted to resell. But if you still want to buy them for your collection, these are the type of prices like you have to pay just because, you know, a lot of people are saying Acuna is like the next trout. He's already like an MVP candidate, like every already at, at such a young age, like he's putting up monster numbers already. So th th that's, that's kind of what you have to pay to get him. I mean, he's, he's not like um, a great buy because of like how much money you have to pay to get him. But if you, if there is still some upside just because, um, you know, how popular he is and how much upside he still has. So if you do want to invest high, these are kind of like the numbers like um, I'm projecting on him. But uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm kind of going to do this with each position. If uh, you guys want to um, continue watching more of my videos on uh, other positions and you know what you liked about what I pointed out what you didn't like just uh, feel free to leave me some questions uh, I'm going to be doing probably about seven or eight more of these videos from each position with the top 10 and related to cards uh, so stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you guys soon